Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today, we're gonna talk about, is Tesla charging for a non-Tesla more expensive? I don't know. We're gonna find out, stick around to see whether CCS uh, charge point operators like Electrify America are cheaper or Tesla is cheaper. Let's get into it. So if you've been following my channel at all, you know when uh, Tesla made the big announcement about the Magic Dock. Uh, I was about a week or two late, but I made it up to Hancock, New York. I was able to test out the Magic Dock plug-in charge. If you watch that video, I was um, like driving back and I was trying to determine, I'm like, is it cheaper or is it more expensive? I was trying to figure it out. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna save that for later. I'll actually run the numbers. I'll see, uh, is Tesla really that much more expensive than charging on a typical CCS charge point operator like Electrify America or EVgo? Now, um, from the top, I wanna say I do focus on Electrify America. I know there are other charge point operators, uh, but Electrify America is the most prevalent. And also, Electrify America generally has the most simple uh, pricing scheme compared to um, all the other charge point operators. Um, so, uh, forgive me if I, I'm looking down a little bit because I have my notes uh, here on my iPad. Before I get into that, as always, please remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can stay updated on content and help the channel grow. So here we are. I'm gonna uh, have this uh, chart pop up for you all and you all can kind of take a look at it. Uh, but basically what I did was I took three Tesla um, locations that have the magic dock and then I found some Electrify America stations nearby and then I ran the numbers. Uh, so one thing that's really interesting with Tesla versus Electrify America is the rate advertised on Tesla includes sales tax and the rate for Electrify America advertised does not include sales tax. So that's why it's kind of confusing to figure out, well, which is more expensive and, and what is cheaper. So uh, don't worry, I went ahead and figured out all the numbers for you. Um, so with all the Electrify America stations, and I did um, run non-member and member rate with and without tax, but I mostly talk about with the tax, uh, but the Electrify America rate pretty much ends up being the same uh, regardless of the California or New, New York um, locations because uh, the New York location uh, sales tax was like 8%, 8.25 and then I think the California one was like 9.25 or something like that. You can correct me in the comments, but it was about 9%. So basically all the rates are pretty much the same. Um, and then with the uh, Tesla supercharger, uh, obviously they have the advertised rate. So I can, had to like work backwards to figure out, well, what would they cost without tax? So uh, real quick here, you can see the non-member, um, the Electrify America locations are 48 cents. And then the Hancock, New York is actually cheaper without tax. Um, the Shirley, New York is a little bit cheaper without tax. And then the Scotts Valley is more expensive without tax. When you uh, run the numbers with the tax for non-member, 52 cent, 52 cent, 52 cent, it's actually cheaper at Hancock and Shirley, the superchargers, than the Electrify America stations uh, for non-members. Now, when you go to the member rates, um, pretty much down the board, they're all the same without tax, except for the location in California. Uh, but that makes sense because energy is a little bit more expensive in California. And then with tax, basically, again, they're all the same except for the location in Scotts Valley. Now, uh, I, I'm talking non-member and member. So essentially, if you are a member, you pay a rate and you buy down the cost of the energy. So for Electrify America, if you've ever used it, it is $4 a month and it buys down the rate. I believe it's from 48 cents a kilowatt hour to 36 cents a kilowatt hour. And then for Tesla, it kind of depends on the location, but it's about 10 cents. Uh, so. For, and for Tesla, sorry, it's $12.99 a month to buy down the rate. So you can see where this is gonna get a little bit interesting. So the, um, you know, the member cost is the same, but uh, for both, but the membership price for Electrify America is cheaper than Tesla. But then for a non-member, it's actually che a little bit cheaper on Tesla uh, than the, um, the Electrify America location. So we'll get into that. 
Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at, uh, like what would this look like if I actually charge, right? How much would I be spending? Um, so basically, I just took our ID4 uh, 77, sorry, kilowatt hour uh, battery pack, and I did um, the kilowatt hours for uh, 30 to 80%. So say you just charge once a week, and you ran it from 80 to 30 and then charged again. That might not be everybody's scenario. I get it, but I was just trying to give some kind of frame of reference here. Uh, and then uh, basically uh, what I did was I have the kilowatt hours there, 154 kilowatt hours. Uh, and then if you charge twice a week, 30 to fi uh, 30 to 80%, it would be just double, right? So I just doubled the number. So those are kind of the two um, uh, figures I'm looking at. And then I just ran it with the prices and with the memberships to see what would be cheaper and more expensive. So as you look, for non-member, except for in California, it's actually cheaper to use the Tesla superchargers, okay? Uh, because you don't have to pay the $12.99. So if you are just using it like a for like one-time thing or whatever, or you don't charge that often, um, then it would probably just make sense to not be a member. So like you're going on a road trip and you need to plug in, just plug in. Cause if you pay for the 1299 and then plug in, you're just kind of wasting money at that point. But if you're gonna regularly charge on Tesla, then yeah, you should probably um, get it. Uh, so that's, I thought that was kind of interesting. And if you look over at the, th the, the 308 kilowatt hour, so the twice a week charging 30 to 80%, it's the same story. Um, it's cheaper to use Tesla by uh, 10 and $3, depending upon the locations there, uh, but obviously not in California. Now, what gets interesting is when you look at, well, when you pay for the membership rate, what's cheaper, what's more expensive? So when you pay for the membership rate, obviously Electrify America comes out on top because it is just $4. Uh, but what's interesting is how big of a difference is it? So if you pay for the 154 kilowatt hours in um, every, uh, it's once a week for a month, so four weeks is what I did, um, it is a difference of $9, uh, essentially. And I'm basically ignoring California because it's way above. Um, sorry, Californians. But it's, it's basically a $9 difference. So if you live somewhere and you don't have a lot of Electrify America, like me, I don't have a lot of Electrify America near me. I have to drive 20 minutes to the first one. Uh, there's allegedly one coming to my town, uh, uh, not Electrify America, a Tesla supercharger. And if that had a magic dock, then maybe I might consider exclusively charging on the supercharger network just because it's more convenient for me. Then for $9, I might as well just do the Tesla supercharger one and you know, that would be good for me. So it just really depends on your situation. So a lot of the rural areas which um, that don't have a lot of charging infrastructure, that's probably where they're, they're gonna open up um, te the Tesla superchargers once they make the full rollout occur uh, first, it might make sense for you all to get the Tesla membership instead of driving further to an Electrify America station. Um, if you look at the twice, um, twice a week, uh, but the same 30 to 80% charge, it's a difference of, it's the same. It's not $9. So yeah, basically, you know, Electrify America is cheaper. <laughs> uh, so like you hear a lot from people, if you're a member, it's cheaper, mainly because the membership price is cheaper. Um, if they were both $4, it would be like a dollar difference. And it, you know, basically you could do one or the other. It wouldn't be the end of the world. So final thoughts surrounding this. Um, obviously, yeah, Electrify America is cheaper, but for $9 also, if you know Tesla superchargers become more readily available or say all of them become available and you can use any of them, they put magic jacks on all the superchargers, um, to pay $9 more in energy cost to have a more reliable um, charging network, I think that's worth it, to be honest. Like, you know, is it really that big of a premium? Not really. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, maybe it's just worth it once Tesla goes full blown to to pay for the Tesla to have the reliability and wait for Electro America to, to get their stuff together because right now they're a, they're a little bit of a mess. 
So yeah, interesting. I'd love to hear your all's thoughts about this topic. Uh, leave them down in the comments below. Um, were, were you all aware how close it was, kind of the pricing, especially with Tesla advertising with tax and Electrify America advertising without tax? I don't, I don't think a lot of people really think about it because the tax is added in afterwards. So I'd love to hear your comments, uh, you know, leave them down below. As always, please remember to give a like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.